Don't want none? Won't be none. But you wanted it, so there was some. Should really go join the Mage's College after this, I think. I'm ashamed discovered. Is that, is that where I need to go? Yep, that's where I need to go. Into this cave we go. Nobody sees me. No one is allowed to know. I uh, yeah, I should probably uh crouch a little bit at least. Well, I'm in here, so that way no one sees me coming. They see me coming, then we have even more problems. And if we have more problems, then... I don't know, these vampires aren't going to be that tough, I don't think. Here, little vampire, 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 vampire. Here, little vampire, 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 vampire. Hey, look, a vampire. You're vampire, vampire, vampires. Come here, you little blood suckers. <laughs> Got her. Anybody else in here? Nope. That guy just turned to dust because you picked him up and then I killed you. Thankfully, that doesn't do anything to his equipment or nothing like that, I don't believe. What do we got up here with the mage? Iron helm, nothing, nothing, nothing. Shock suppression. How much uh, weight do I have? Sure, we'll take it. Nope, not worth it. Petty soul gems are not worth it because they're petty. Like the, it's an imperial. Okay, is it a smith? Is it a tailor? No, it's an imperial. Which, to be honest, is really good. It's like a good storytelling thing because it's like, I don't know what he is. is someone there? Where? Where's this person at? Gotta be downstairs? Oh, you reanimated a dead body. I'm like, there's two people here. All right, we'll kill her. Oh, you just reanimated the... I gotcha. Good thing there were some bandits here. So you had something to stand next to when you died. Response to Barrow's speech. You know, we're going to take that book. We're going back up because there's a guy shot up top here. Just to see if... we have got upstairs and downstairs. We'll go upstairs first. This was a good choice, going upstairs first. Adapt. 
Come on, lockpick. You can do this. Whew. Nice and simple on the second attempt. Nothing. Okay. So down we go. Somewhere there's got to be a big vampire, a head guy, a gentleman that will uh, give me exactly what I'm looking for here, because you're giving me a lot of health potions for, there to, for that to be all that was in here. Unless you really expected those guys to like catch me by surprise and require me to... Uh, Do it, undo it, do it, undo it. Like, take a bunch of damage, heal myself, take a bunch of damage, heal myself all the way. Like, unless that's what they expected out of this place. Which, this is a good, uh... This is a good place. Like, this is a cool area, but... As far as I am aware, it's... Alright, we can put that shield down, because I now know that it doesn't, uh... offer me anything. Yeah, this is a... this is a fun designed dungeon crawly type encounter, but... not challenging. Are you a vampire? Vampire's thrall. Nope. The guy that unfortunately has been taken over by the vampire cult. Hear people talking. What are they? One down. Have you just been standing here fighting vampires this whole time, Barabbas? Got her. Now. I need to... That's cool. That's white armor. Ash pile. I just had some sick stuff on you. What's in here? Let's see, what do we got here for this book? We learned Frenzy. Cool. I have a request for you, Lord Vile. Let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. You're right, I did you a favor. So, and I take the dog. What's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Uh, take the dog. Insufferable pup. Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine. In the back end of... nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Take the dog back. Maybe, but no promises. 
What's your offer? An axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. Okay. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place uh. back at my side. Alright, so I gotta... Come on, Bravos, we gotta go get an axe for him now. Big old turd blossom that he is. Where am I going for this now? Oop, 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 we're going way up here. We're just gonna fast travel this Bravos, because I don't have time to walk all the way across Skyrim. Alright, Bravos. Let's go. Got him. Bravos, I do not care. I literally could have le zero shits about this. We are going to get this axe so I can put you back on that statue. I'm climbing this hill. Let me up this hill, please. I don't think this is how I'm actually supposed to get up this hill. Now, how the crap... Sorry, I just let that go for a minute because I'm super focused on trying to get up the hill. Let me up the hill. Alright, where's another place I can get to it from? Maybe up here? Yeah, it's probably up here. I probably gotta like, doot doot. Fine. We'll start from here instead. God, this is annoying. Just kidding, it's only like partially annoying. Realistically, the annoyance is more so the fact that like... Oh, hi dragon! Yeah, that's right. I have an army of animals. Nope, you don't get to. My horse and my dog will kill you. Hey, look, guys, we killed a dragon. Now, back on our quest. To simply climb this 
damnable mountain. This is the place. 